anything. The moon will be up shortly. They'll wait for full dawn now. I believe you're right. I'll trick back every half hour. Major, with your permission, sir, there's something I'd like to get off my mind. Back there in Virginia City, when I saw the size and shape of this detail, I came within an inch of deserting. Cow hands, plot busters. They didn't know a hand salute from a water bucket. I was sure that if they saw one Paiute or heard one shot fired, that they'd scatter so far and fast it'd take two weeks hard riding just to get them in sight again. Kind of wrong, wasn't I, Major? The Cloudbuster showed me how. That first day was just like I thought it'd be. But, but after that first night, they pulled together quicker than any group I ever saw. Yeah, they're good men. All of them. Yes. It's your supper, if that's what you want to do with it. It's all right with me. Tonight they gather from all the camps. Tomorrow they set me free. You've said that more times than I can count. Now, since you don't want to eat, I don't want to listen, why don't you just open up? Tomorrow they kill you and all right then. I'll go and kill again. What were you saying? Ah. That's what I thought. Coyotes? Should be dawn in about four hours. We'll move out in two. And they'll be waiting for us. Big reception party. Now, you came in from that way. How far are we from Fort Churchill? Is the crow flies or, or dodging war parties? Uh, straight line. About eight, ten hours. But the Paiutes, Shoshones, and Utes all banded together out there to stop us. Could be just plain too far.
Welch and Steve, sir. I know. I saw it. Make the odds about ten to one. Yeah. They'll stay there. Just out of range until they find out what we're going to do with, with the chief and Wabuska.